what's up Leo? um y'all fiery asses yeah um okay so this is your late night vibes reading it's just whatever spirit is telling me is on your mind or on your person mind or whatever they talk about because it could be about your person it could be about some money it could be about some whatever family whatever um disclaimer if it don't apply let it fly that means if it don't resonate just leave the message for somebody else because that means the message was for somebody else okay so this whole thing could resonate for you or just bits and pieces also it is energy so flip the roles as need be okay it's a lot of y'all it's one of me um therefore he could be a she she could be a he or it don't matter all right cool um for these late night vibes i'll be playing some um some chocolate screw music in the background because you know you might hear something that you need to hear in the music while i'm shuffling or whatever so alright let's do the darn thing from the cards I need to see for my real collective. What is on their mind? These are late night vibes. What's going on with my real collective? Her distraught, disorganized, like discombobulated. Somebody going through it, whether it's you or somebody else. Somebody in your situation going through it though. Messages for the real Okay. There's been some type of clarity, something, someone being cut out. Yeah, we're far going to slip over. Okay, because now nah, I've seen the car flip over. Where did it go? Hold on. I just see it again. These thick ass cards in my little hands. And it was gonna try to hide in the background too. Jesus, what? Come out, Lord. Okay. We got the hangman. Somebody has taken some time away to themselves. Probably was resisting it hella, hella much. But shit. If you need some time alone, you need some time alone. Um. Could be trying to gain a new perspective, you or your person, or whatever, whoever you cut off. Cause if whoever you got cut off is the one that's in their head thinking about this. But really, for both of y'all, you can look at it from like a different perspective, like awesome, just as it is, what it is, moving on. But they don't want to look at it from a different perspective because they ain't changed, and they still want to feel how they feel about the situation. I heard they still want to fight. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that means physically or just like heart you. Is she sidekick or is she sidekick? Y'all, if you don't believe me, look up what the five of swords mean. This person is still, do you see? Okay, it's holographic. My, I'm extra, so I got some extra cards. Um, so it might be hard to see the picture, but look. This person is here with a sword. All these swords in the background is on the ground because some type of fight conflict has just happened. But these people is walking away because ain't nobody got time for this shit no more. So it's kind of like this person was forced to be alone and think about it because you're not dealing with it no more. And you're just not going to keep going back and forth and arguing with them. Ugh, people. All right, Spirit, can we clarify the King of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're single. You are abundant. You are thriving. Ever since you got whatever clarity, whatever happened that you needed to see to get you to leave is what happened, okay? Uh, it, it did what it was supposed to do. Like, you were supposed to see something, find something, hear something, and um, it was going to get you to leave this person alone so that you can step into your real energy and get back to being independent and shit because this was a codependent relationship abundance has been coming you've been happier since this person gone it's like well, since you let go of this person your life is just getting much better clarify the hangman with the knight of cups yeah because this person all they think about is you they still want to come to you offering some type of love offering some type of connection commitment but it's like i feel like it's some bullshit it's some immature it's like not a real it's a real offer 
but I don't feel like there's real intention set behind the offer. Like, it's not real. Ain't no real action gonna be taken behind this shit. Because they still want to fight and still want to talk about whatever happened last time or they still want to, like... I feel like this person is just argumentative for no reason. It's like, they could be the one that being the wrong, but they the one that like to argue once you call them out for something. But it's like... All I said was, I don't like when you do such and such. So, as my partner, could you just not do such and such? Like, isn't it, isn't it, is it that hard? Like, is it rocket science? Would your person, like, turn it into something that it don't need to be every single time? Ain't nobody got time for that shit. I'm gonna clarify the five swords. Yeah, because they are sitting pretty, you, okay. Since you walk away from this, they are still like i said they ain't changed they still comfortable saying the energy of like wanting to argue wanting to fight they're gonna have to come out of that if they haven't already started to come out of it but i feel like they're just now starting to believe like okay dang they seriously walked away it's like and it's for real now like they know that you were serious this time um i mean some of y'all probably not but majority of y'all is over this over this shit um leo yeah that's my mom leo so you sitting pretty pleasant happy with your nine, of, look, you got the nine of pentacles and you got the nine of cups. So it's like a relationship could add, but you're fine without type stuff. Like if one comes along, cool. If, if not this person though, but you are perfectly fine with what is going on in your life right now or what you are about to come into. Like you are going to be sitting pretty, sitting pleasant, chilling. Um. Let's keep going for this the nine of pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah, because you found something that you are passionate about or like even if it's just like yourself, you're now passionate about like taking care of yourself, investing in self, self-care, self like time alone. You need your you time, you need your you space. Um but whatever it is that has got you to like this abundance, whether it's like a job or some like some type of uh, somebody just got a new car. Oh, sorry, that was just a random ass. Yeah, somebody got a new car. Congratulations. But um, <laughs> there's something that you guys are passionate about, and that is what gave you all this like abundance and stuff. Once you got single, it's like you started focusing on whatever this is. And that's what got you out of this like sad ass, argumentative ass energy with this person. Because it's like, okay, when I focus on this, good stuff happens. When I leave you alone, good stuff happens. But whenever I try to make it work and listen to all these bullshits and that cup of love, that bullshit offer that they come in with, you be skeptical anyway. So it's like, it's peaceful. It's a peace of mind to just leave this motherfucker alone, period, and be by yourself because you don't have to worry about if they're lying or if they mean it for real this time or da 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 because you already know it's some BS. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Because if they were serious, they would take their time coming back to you. Um, Knight of Pentacles under the Knight of Cups. If they were serious about their offer, they would take their time to actually like adjust their life and fix stuff and then come back and work on things slowly. Like they wouldn't just try to jump back in and just try to like I feel like this person be forcing it kinda. Of. Like they be y'all could argue, do all this weird stuff, but whenever y'all do decide to forgive each other and try again, they try to act like none of that shit happened. And like y'all be having the same problems going on over and over and over. But if they would come in and take their time for something long term and make it stable and not rocky and just be saying shit and don't mean what they say then y'all can make some shape but that that ain't what be going on okay that is way too many, many cards way too many cards um nine of cups because you gain some type of new perspective when it comes to this whole situation just some type of clarity like a peace of mind as just accepting that it really is what it is it really is over and that's perfectly fine um 
because you have other shit to worry about than this person. It's kind of like, you know, when you with somebody and you just break up, at first it's like the end of the world, but then once you're really over it, it's like, dang, I sure did have a life before I met you. I was fine before you came into my life. I will be okay after, like, it's one of them. Uh, uh, but let's see what's on your person's mind. Let's see first let's see what this connection got going on with it. What's up with this connection spirit between my Leos and their person? What's the real tea on this connection? What is really going on? Let's see. We got children. Okay, so some of y'all could have some children with this person. Or children could be the reason why this person... Like, okay. For one, this person could still be acting like a child. For one, they're childish. For two, some of y'all, this person could have children with you. Or maybe with somebody else. And it's like, whatever problems I had going on, it's because they was dealing with a baby mama, baby daddy. Um, Because your love life is being affected by children. Whether it's your kids or not. Or whether the person is just a childish ass motherfucker. Codependency. Didn't I, I told y'all she's like it. I, didn't I say earlier that this uh, relationship is codependent? It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person was depending on you. You was depending on them for some type of emotional, financial, physical, whatever satisfaction. But you should not be depending on nobody for nothing. Free yourself, free your mind, which y'all some well, most of y'all have already done, but for once we need to hear, free yourself. Once you do, you're gonna get that single uh, abundant energy wherever that car went, I don't know where it went. Y'all know where it went. Oh, it's up here. That's how you get into this energy. Once you free yourself, it's literally independent. So breaking that chain. Uh abundance by yourself. Happiness by yourself. You don't need nobody for nothing. Just boss ass bitch mentality. Okay, because I just heard I'm a boss ass bitch. Yeah, I heard that song. Um anyway, let's see what's going on with their person. What is their person's late night thoughts about Leo spirit? What's the beat of my head? That could be what the codependency was. Somebody got some monies. Could also be the reason why you and your person ain't um working out. Because they could have some issue, some type of money that they owe to somebody. Some situation they got to do with you. But it's like affecting your connection. Could be they going to court or something for the kids with the big mama or the big daddy. Because children was affecting your love life. Money is also a factor. Anyways, we got, I will wait for a sign from you. And you came closer than anyone. Yeah, because your person is really realizing that now, like, you was dead to fuck serious. And they're like, okay, well, damn, what, what do I do next? Because they kind of know that anything that they say or do... It ain't really gonna phase you or like work so that's why they're waiting on you um they want you to know that you came closer than anyone else and that the timing just wasn't right so if it was some type of third party shit going on they like you more than like the other person they just got some shit they gotta deal with with the other person so that's that um uh, any don't do this step or another day Any closing messages you have for my Leo collective spirit? Some of y'all is going out having fun, going to the club. <laughs> it's right, I just said going to the club and look at our club outfit. It says be comfortable, okay? Personal preference is what you got in that hand. Then it says standards of society in the other hand. I feel like you don't give a fuck about none of this shit no more. You are comfortable. You're becoming comfortable. You ain't. If you are in this energy already, this is where you will be going, okay? Um, it's kind of like fuck with anybody you're talking about, what you're talking about, your mama, your daddy, your family. You could have issues. I just heard all of that. I don't know where I came from because I just started going off. Oh, uh, so maybe you could have issues with their family as well. Maybe their family don't like you. For whatever reason but i feel like they probably don't like you because of some lies that, that they have told them 
like your person could be good at like flipping the script and making it seem like something that's not even though they're the issue <laughs> i don't know how i just got all that from that part but okay closing messages for Leo. someone's not talking someone is healing and don't let blah, he, huh? don't let emotions handle you handle your emotions okay so yeah like i said once you hit that isolation become comfortable with yourself learn how to handle yourself emotionally physically find all that abundance whether it's money whether it's happiness whether it's uh, 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 like materials to all that like that all comes once you learn how to control yourself set some boundaries like control your life don't live your life don't let your life live you that's what i just heard so that is what i got for you leo like comment subscribe please if you want a personal go ahead and follow me on the grizzly gram um and that is all i got for you okay